Hawks. Of course, Troy Daniels now with the Charlotte Hawks is playing very well for them as well as Koshwall finishes at the rim. Mack with his first bucket. Putney left alone, and he buries the triple. Oh, those are the two key words, left alone. Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz does not want to see Putney have any space. Or he is going to cause them problems all night and tomorrow, because these teams will be right back at it. Hobson can't answer back. Chris Walker tracks it down, former McDonald's All-American. Who basically said, Cummings, don't even try to get that basketball. I'm getting that rebound. Don't even try to get that basketball. I'm getting that rebound. That is my board. Give me that stat, says Skywalker. Is hey, rebounding going. is one stat where a coach will never think that you're being selfish. Putney again. Two early threes from Rafael Putney. Well, I guarantee you. The first time for Santa Cruz is Daniel Walele, a sharpshooter out of Air Force. Jarvis and the, three in for RGB. And the reality is, is if Putney does get called up for a 10-day contract, he's not going to be going up there to be a, a focal point of an offense. No. He would be a role player who needs to make his mark on the defense. Down. Now, we said that the Vipers are second in both rating and pace. Who's number one? That would be the Reno Bighorns. And last year, Reno averaged 133 points per game. They've toned it down a little bit as well. Jarvis, three to the hoop. No. Walker keeps it alive and finishes off glass. They're second in both rating and pace. Who's number one? That would be the Reno Bighorns. And last year, Reno averaged 133 points per game. They've toned it down a little bit as well. Jarvis, three to the hoop. No. Walker keeps it alive and finishes off glass. Three would probably have been better in the Koshwald. He was thinking too much about the shot blocker, and it caused him to miss that shot. Williams with 10 now after those last two free throws. Hobson from the corner, and he's fouled. Hobson was not some two for three from the line. I already got it downloaded, so I don't need to go. Myself as well. Very good app. Matt Carlino, step back, short. He's 25% from everywhere on the floor coming into this game while Lele trying to save it in. And he draws the contact, count it, and the foul. Hooping the harm for Jarvis three. And honestly, you could have a slam dunk contest just made out of Vipers alone with Raphael Putney, Chris Walker, three, and Jaron Johnson. I'm sure that won't be the case. Williams almost slipped there. Aaron Kraft will get us back started in, the reigning D-League Defensive Player of the Year. Hobson inside, knocks it down from 12. And he got away with an offensive foul there, and you could see Threet immediately turned. Knocks it down from 12. And he got away with an offensive foul there, and you could see Threet immediately turned around to try to let the referee know about it. Carlino, the dribbling display. Three to three, knocks it down, and that's been an issue for him this yes. season. Just 19% coming into this game from bonus distance. Seven. Carlino. Tries his luck baseline. Hobson, a good start, but rejected there by Chris Walker. Ooh, he really refused that ball screen. It's kind of a flat ball screen. And he was able to turn the corner and no one in help side for Santa Cruz. Hobson on the face up J too strong. Just get out of the way and not try to stand in there and take a charge. Putney's put a few guys on posters in his day. Williams around the defense and makes it in. So crafty, the ability to escape the double team along. Walker missing the turnaround. 12 points for Williams already. Trying to set up Juan Lele, who hands the triple. And they're going to review that to see if it were a three at the next whistle. 
Under two minutes to play in the first. But you get an idea of how good of a passer Elliott Williams is as well, coming off of that ball screen to skip it all the way to the other side of the floor. He averages more than five assists per game. Carlino all the way to the hoop. Is more than five assists per game. Carlino all the way to the hoop. Behind the back from Kraft to Walele. Not this time. A little bit of a heat check there from Walele, who just knocked a three down a moment ago. A moment ago. Putney with 10 early points for the Snakes. How many different ways can you describe Viper? You got snakes. I like it. Graf for Hobson lays it in. This is a guy who playing the professional game is thriving. 11 points, eight rebounds. He's shooting 61% from the field, which is a number that is attainable when you have the athleticism yeah. that he just showcased a second ago. And he's doing that in under 23 minutes per game. Williams 0 for 2, Koshwal hustling inside. New possession for Santa Cruz, and they give it right back. Cummings driving baseline. Met down low by Hobson, gets the strip. Here comes Kraft. Too casual with the basketball. He was jab stepping. Chris Walker with six now, six loud points for RGV. Out to Hobson for three. Offensive rebound, Koshwal. Looney gets it back, lays it in. It's a rebound, Koshwal. Looney gets it back, lays it in. Kevon Looney is a guy who really took it to heart as a kid when his coach said, follow your shot because he always assumes that he is missing around the rim. He's not missing that. Travis Schlenk and Kirk Legup are looking for those hybrid players. The Andre Iguodala's, the Draymond Greens, the Sean Livingston's, Harrison Barnes, go on and on. Cummings wide open from distance and he sticks the triple. Had a little stare down to the Santa Cruz. Had a little stare down to the Santa Cruz bench after that mid three. Cummings, the guy who's top 10 in the D League in scoring at more than 20 per. Looney, second attempt is just off the mark. Anthony Vereen into the game, fighting for the loose ball. That's Looney, gets it off the crap. It's one area of this game he needs to work on a little bit, just 68% from the strike. Williams, the fall away, Jay. That's his money shot right yes, there. Yes, it is. On that right side of the floor, fading away. He pull up jump shooter going to his right. And that does not surprise me for a left handed shooter. I was a right handed shooter. And it was much easier to get the shot off quicker when you're going to your left and stopping on a dime. Cummings, no. And a Walker tips it back in. Walker now with eight. Game here with Santa Cruz. Had hip surgery back in August. The Golden State organization, along with Santa Cruz, easing him back into game shape. And he is going to be on some sort of minutes restriction here tonight, so we don't know how much we're going to see him play. Cummings. Free reign, and he read it and timed it perfectly. Denzel Livingston with it out of Incarnate Word in San Antonio, off to Jaron Johnson. Livingston launches, drains it. He had a couple of huge threes against the Blue on Wednesday night. One to tie it up at the end of regulation. And another. Okay, that is a deep three. The league right now for the Reno Bighorns, Chad Topper. He's a sharpshooter. Williams launches, drains. Elliot Williams putting on a show. He is north of 20. Elliot Williams putting on a show. He is north of 25 points with 28. Cummings trying to answer back. Koshwal rips down the miss. On the miss. Williams playing like a man possessed tonight. Zings it to Kraft. Too strong on the three and off Amir Williams. 
of the season of the season so far. Corey Jefferson just getting a 10 day with the Phoenix Suns. Bryce DeJohn Jones with the New Orleans Pelicans. In and out from Daniel Corsi. Couldn't tie things up. Santa Cruz shooting 54% in the game, but 14 turnovers. 14 turnovers for the Warriors. Chris Walker posting up on Looney out to the open Cummings fires the three and drills it. Nice patience by Walker did not force the issue. Surveyed the deep ninth free throw attempt of the game and they're not shooting it well. They're 19 for 29 but it's no surprise that RGV has been living at the free throw line because entering today they lead the D league in free throws attempted per game at 32. They had more than 40 free throw attempts in their last game. That wimps in their last game that went over Oklahoma City. Now the problem is they don't shoot it well. They're second to last in the league in percentage at just under 71. So their offensive rating is so good. Imagine if they were shooting around 76% as a team. Their offensive rating would be even better. Yes, it would. That is. Their offensive rating would be even better. Yes, it would. That is the answer to the question. Williams strong on the three. <laughs> I like to state the obvious from time to time. Denzel Livingston gets the friendly roll. He's having himself a ball game. 15 points, almost done. He was part of that Mercer team that beat Duke in the first round, the 2014 NCAA tournament, or I should say second round, excuse me. No, that's changing. That's back to the first round. But back then it was the second round. Yeah, don't get Jay Billis started on that one. He had 17 points in that win over the Blue Devils, 78-71. You mean you don't agree with the concept that's... But back then it was the second round. Yeah, don't get Jay Billis started on that one. He had 17 points in that win over the Blue Devils, 78-71. You mean you don't agree with the concept that 64 teams get a first round by? It should definitely be the first round. While Lele in and out on... That was unorthodox for Kraft just throwing that ball up high. Seven to shoot. Four to play here in the third. Three to crossover. Runner up, good off glass with two tenths of a second. That's the second bucket end of quarter for our five point game. Santa Cruz still in this. Yeah, still a long way to go. Putney thought about it. Eight to shoot for Cummings. Attacking crap gets around him, blocked by Koshla. Here comes Williams. It's tied up in the Jaron Johnson. Up top to Cummings. Eight on the shot clock for the Snakes. Has Jones on him. Gets the screen. Two to shoot. Has to hoist. He does, and Koshwal snares the miss. Still enough time for Santa Cruz just to get. A chance to tie or take the lead here for SCW. Kraft can't tie the game. It was a beautiful move. Begins to maybe give yourself an offensive rebounding opportunity, but for RGV, worst case scenario is overtime. Three holding up top, directing traffic. Here comes the Walker on ball. Three down Broadway, pulls over defender, blocking foul. On well, Darrington Hobson, who puts up the yep. unit. Incredible instincts by Kraft. He was just staring at the basketball the whole time. And you just cannot bring the ball anywhere near Aaron Kraft without feeling a little bit uneasy. All alone in the corner, it's Kraft for three. And a timeout for his third. Only on the D-League official website, NBADLeague.com. Johnson picking up his dribble prematurely. Cummings to the rack, out of bounds. 38.9 to go. Putney, Livingston, Cummings, and Chris Walker for the season nine and four, and now 10 and 16. Vipers 13 and 10. Livingston from the angle, tied ball game. How about that? Denzel Livingston not getting the two for one, so if they miss, RGV will get the final shot. What a turn of events. 
Williams sizing up Putney, spins around him into the corner. Kraft with five, pulls up from 12, it's short, shot at 11 and a half. And now the Vipers can hold for one. They see the ball thrown into the block. And it looks like Chris Walker is just gonna sprint up. But here's three, three to play. Sizing up Jones, driving left, off the glass, at the buzzer beater. Built over the course of 78 days in the fall of 2012. Putney with five. Step back three. Can't rainbow at home. Crap high for the miss. Good defense by Jones not letting Putney get by. Good defense by Jones not letting Putney get by him. Forcing the long contested two. Putney actually had a foot on the line. Williams pulls up. He leaves it short as well. Cummings racing to the rim and brings it out. 40 seconds to play in the first overtime. This game still hasn't been decided, obviously. Hobson driving to the hoop. Lays it in. Santa Cruz back on top. And Matt Coswell underrated part of that of that play. Sealing off Chris Walker, who was not able to try to help out and prevent Hobson from getting the layup. Putney driving, scoops inside, short. Coswell rips it away, gets it off the craft. And what a heads-up play again from Coswell.